Hello everybody, welcome to Salita's Crib. In this video, I'm going to be going through some of the worst products that we have bought from big household names and why you should avoid these products at all costs. Okay, so first up is the HTO Steam Mob by Tane. Now this is one of those as seen on TV kind of products because so often it's shown on shopping channels on TV where they're always doing deals or having a salesperson demonstrating uh, the, the use of the mop. Now when we bought towels, everything seemed to be okay at first. It seemed to work well and it was easy to use. Then all of a sudden the mop just abruptly stopped working and, and that was that. We tried to do everything we possibly could to get it to work again. We, we emptied the tank and refilled it. There's a uh, like a valve there we, we, we tried to open that up and and clean it we, we looked at the the cleaning head of the mop to see if there was any kind of blockage there and no matter what we tried we just couldn't get it to work we we also searched online on youtube to see how we could address this problem to see if there was anybody else encountering the same problem and apparently it is an issue that some other people have had with this mop and one method that we came across was placing the mop without the head into into the sink and then just leaving the mop on to to let out steam and and we tried that and it, it didn't seem to work for us so yeah, our steam mop didn't work for long. When it did work, it worked great. But of course we want something to work all the time, not just some of the time. And in our case, it just didn't last long at all. And considering the money that we had spent on it, we expected something to last a lot longer than, than just a mere few months. And what was more disappointing was the, the, the sheer level of, of poor customer service that we experienced. In fact, the customer service was non-existent really. We didn't really get any product support. We, we, we didn't get any advice. There was no offer of a, um, a, a refund or a replacement as, as you would expect. And that was really the worst part of it, I, I would say. So, I would definitely say to people that avoid this product because although it's advertised quite a lot and it seems to work well in demonstrations, what they don't obviously tell you is that the mop does have issues and it can suddenly stop working. So it, it's quite misleading really. The next product that we have up here is the Karcher electric mop, I would say. I've never seen anything quite like it before, but it's something that my partner came across and she thought it was a good idea to actually buy this. So yeah, Karcher is a well-known household name. With um, they, they make steam mops. Um, they can use to clean windows and things like that and they seem to be pretty good and reliable but the same can't be said for this this mop that we we bought and come across so essentially this mop works by using a rotating cleaning head as opposed to steam power as with most of the other electric mops out there on the market so it's a little bit different it seems to be a fairly simple concept from from what I've seen and you just use it like any other mob you you, you just uh, go back and forth and as the the the, the head is spinning around it, it just picks up the dirt so it will spin continuously and pick up the dirt the only problem with this is that it, it doesn't actually do that much it for all the noise it makes it doesn't clean a lot at all it's very reliant on you pulling back against the resistance because 
as it's spinning around, you can feel it pulling away from you. And then you pull back as you're going back and forth, you're, you're pulling back. So that that should help actually clean some of the dirt, but it just doesn't do that much at all. Uh, it's okay for a very light clean, for very smooth floors, for tiles like we have or, or laminate flooring, but I wouldn't say for much else. And I think for what you're paying for for it, it's, it's really not worth it. It's also quite large, so it, it consumes a lot of space. Um, all in all, I wouldn't recommend this at all. Also, as with the HTO mop, the, the customer service is non-existent. And this, this is supposed to be a big name, Karcher. The best that Karcher seem to provide in terms of customer service is, is one of those chat bots on their website, which is next to useless and doesn't help in any way. It's woefully inadequate for dealing with, with real problems because you're not speaking to anybody that's real. You're just speaking to something that's automated and there could be a variety of reasons why you need to contact customer service. It could be to replace your product. It could be to do a warranty. It could be for spare parts or anything. And if you can't contact customer services, then what good is that? So it's just something to consider when you're buying a product. It's not just about the product itself or the quality of it or what it does. It's also the customer service that goes with it. Last and definitely least is the Dyson V10 Animal. So this is a, a a wireless battery powered uh, Dyson vacuum cleaner. So it's not a full size one. It's similar to the one that we had in our other video. That's the, that's the model up from this. Now, the reason why we're featuring this in, in, in our video is because despite the name Dyson, this vacuum cleaner is, is a complete disappointment. It, it, it did not meet expectations at all in, in anything really. The first thing that I really, really hate about this vacuum cleaner is the poor level of battery life. You spend a lot of time charging up this vacuum cleaner. In fact, it takes hours to charge up this vacuum cleaner for, for a full charge, but you're lucky to get 10 minutes of use, if that, which it is not good at all. It is not nearly long enough to actually vacuum anything properly. It may be okay for, uh, you know, a small bit of mess that you just made and you just want to get the vacuum cleaner out quickly, vacuum it and then pop it back on, on charge. May be okay for that, but for anything more than that, it's not going to be be able to do much. The last major issue that I have with the Dyson vacuum cleaner is the issue with blockages. Now, of course, all vacuum cleaners have blockages when you use them. It's, it's a pretty normal thing to vacuum too much or the wrong kind of thing by mistake and you have a blockage. But normally, you can find that blockage. It is obvious. You unblock it and the vacuum cleaner works again. But for some reason with the Dyson, the blockages aren't always obvious and when you do have a blockage, it seems to be the smallest of things, like a, a small piece of paper or some dust or something like that. And then you unblock it and, and you, you you clean the pipes, you, you have a look in the vacuum cleaner, you think all is well, and then you switch it on and go back to using it and it, it there's still a blockage somewhere. It still shows that there's a blockage, but you don't know where the blockage is and you just find yourself pulling your hair out trying to find this blockage looking everywhere inside the thing and and you know dusting it um inside out again and again to uh, just check in two or three times and you still can't find the blockage and you can't use it and i've never seen anything like that with any other vacuum cleaner it's supposed to be dyson it's supposed to be this big premium brand is it's supposed to be an advanced kind of vacuum cleaner it doesn't you know it's it's backless it's not uh, a traditional older kind of of 
vacuum cleaner, but is less reliable, is, is more problematic. And I would prefer to use something older or, or even second hand or, or at least another brand because it, it would work and any blockages could be dealt with. With this Dyson, you, you're spending a lot of money on, on a big name and it's supposed to be all this latest technology, but but it doesn't do the one thing that it should do, and that's to suck things up well. It just doesn't do that. Perhaps we were one of the unlucky customers who received a vacuum cleaner from a bad batch, and it didn't pass quality control for whatever reason, or it could just be a very bad product in that particular line. Whatever the case, it shows a lot of promise, being a Dyson vacuum cleaner, but unfortunately it just doesn't deliver. So there you have it. These are our top three worst products that we have bought in recent years. We have a steam mop that doesn't actually produce any steam. We have another mop that makes a lot of noise, but doesn't clean much. And we have a vacuum cleaner that doesn't suck anything up. All in all, these are the three worst products that seem to promise a lot but fails to deliver. Now what we have next isn't a cleaning product, it's completely unrelated and it's a kitchen pot. The reason we have added this in the video is not only because of the dislike we have for this particular pot, but the brand as well in general. Previously we had uh, a pan by Copper Chef, the same brand, and it was just terrible to use because despite um, apparently being non-stick that wasn't the case at all we, we every time we wanted to cook something that the food would just stick it would st stick so much that we would lose a lot of our food and then trying to clean it afterwards was a complete nightmare it, 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 the food that was burnt on wouldn't come off uh, it, no matter how much you scrubbed it or, or if you put it in the dishwasher so it's just a very very badly made pot and we have this pot here obviously by the same brand this looks a lot newer because we've barely used it and it's that's due to the same problem really that um food tends to stick towards the bottom of it i mean i'm personally not a fan of square shaped pots um because of the food going in the corners and cleaning it but this, it would it would help greatly if it was actually non-stick that's what you want in a good pot the main thing that people want is having something that's genuinely non-stick so that you don't lose food and so it's easy to clean and you can cook properly so that's why we have added this in the video and hopefully it's something that you will avoid whenever you're choosing the next pot to buy that's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one. Gone now, and that you won't stay here. Keep looking back, don't wanna forget ya. Yeah, I wanna do it all again. So I keep pushing.